Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Tittle Tattle Tarot. Again, I am using my Tarot of the Abyss. I really bonded so well with this deck, and um, I love the readings that it gives me. So I will be using this one again today. Um, I also, before I start, I want to apologize for my hands. Um, I see so many tarot readers and they have the most beautiful hands and they have lovely uh, nails, beautifully painted. Well, I haven't, I'm afraid, as you can tell. I spend my life as an artist. I draw, so I end up with charcoal and all stuff all over them. I use my fingers to rub in paint and all sorts, so my hands are not the best. So I do apologise that you have to look at my dreadful, my dreadful fingers. <laughs> okay, so moving on. This is all about Meghan Markle. Now, what I want to know is about the way she deals with people, um, the way she destroys all her friendships and her family relationships. Um, she sucks the ideas, the confidence and the life out of people. Um, she uses them and then she discards them. Now, if you watch HG Tudor and you watch all the other wonderful, wonderful channels, you know, we know she's a narcissist. Um, we know that that was almost programmed into her by being raised by two narcissists, um, being put on a pedestal from being a tiny baby and having everything, everything given to her. Now, some people who are raised by narcissists and have that situation don't turn out like Meghan Markle. But some people do. And she has this narcissistic personality which is ingrained into her bones. And I don't want to know how she got there. I think, you know, if you listen to somebody like H.G. Tudor and all the other content providers, um, you know, you'll hear some wonderful um content on how she probably most likely got to where she is but I don't want to know that uh, she is what she is what I want to know is what the universe has to say about her using abusing sucking the life out of people um, taking their confidence and destroying them and discarding them I want to know what the universe has to say about her so that's going to be my first question. What does the universe say about Meghan Markle and her use and abuse of every relationship in her life, apart from the most, most superficial, the most very, very superficial one she can, she can not maintain, but, you know, she can come across very well. But as soon as anything deep or meaningful comes around, she will ruin it. I want to know, universe, what do you say? What do you say about this? What do you say about her use and abuse of those near and dear to her? Okay, cards are starting to come out. Okay, it's given me. Okay. Let me go with the middle card first of all. We've got the Four of Cups in reverse. I think now this is all from the universe's point of view. This isn't from Meghan Markle's point of view. The universe is saying, if you had your time again, you would do things differently in the Four of Cups. We would advise as the universe, as the divine, that you would do things very differently. You treated everything in this this way round, this this life at the moment, your journey at the moment, you're treating everything as though I can't be bothered with you. You don't serve me. Um, if you're not, if it's not going to have good consequences for me, if I'm not going to benefit from you, I don't want you. And this figure here is rejecting this cup. Ugh, what are you offering me? Oh, you're only offering me a million I'm not interested in that. That's not good enough. You're only offering me this. You're only offering me that. Whatever you offered this figure, she would never, ever be, be happy with it. It would never be enough. You can pour and pour into this woman and it will never be enough. And, and the universe is saying, 
in your next time round, when you come this way again, you have to change this. In reverse, it is, you know, taking a different path, accepting what is given to you. And I strongly believe with this card, the universe is saying, you know, next time you walk this way, you are going to have to change this and you're going to have to say thank you thank you and your lesson in life which will come up later will be to be grateful for what you're given with this card here it's a journey card it's it's moving away moving on to other things and i think the universe is saying you can't keep running you can't keep um, going from one situation to another. These are all things that the universe is picking up on and saying, you know, these things have to change. You can't keep um, just when something doesn't work here, flying off over there. You start a project, it doesn't work. So you take off, you take off on your, your plane, on your private jet. We have a figure here on a winged creature flying off. This is her private jet flying off somewhere else flying off to Uvalde, flying off here, there and everywhere and doing things that are terrible really and ridiculous and self-serving and when they don't work she flies back again and the universe is saying you can't keep doing this, you can't keep um, starting things and running away from them, you need to learn that um, you need to see something through because in this life at the moment you've never ever seen a project through from start to finish and been proud of it so this is the other thing that the universe is telling her and then we have judgment um this is um this here is the awakening um now i see this as basically you know the angel is hovering over her um in judgment in um the rider weight pack it's like the archangel gabriel and he's blowing his horn and the people are all standing up and being accountable for what they've done so this is very much you know you will be held accountable but look how this figure and this one always hmm, although it's the awakening and it should be quite a sort of um positive card in a way you know um looking to god and sort of saying you know i i have done what i've done and you know judge me now this this here i always see this angel here as being very dark it, it's almost like it's it's crouched over this figure almost like a vampire like it's sucking the life out of someone and i think the universe is saying you know you will be judged because you've pinned people down um, this figure has got the upper hand, the way it's crouched over this other figure. It's almost like um, she's taking everything from it. She's taking everything from this figure. It, it's like draining its blood, draining its um, artistic ability, draining its its love to acquire for herself. Um, because these things she doesn't have. So I see this as a very kind of... Um, you have to, you have to stop using people because your judgment is going to be that you've, as we said right in the beginning, you've used and abused and sucked the life out of people and you need to awaken um, and be held responsible for what you've done. So these are very strong cards from the universe. Um, this is what the universe has to say about her. So what has the universe got planned for her so the universe is saying you have to change you will have to change and if you don't change now um your next time round you're going to have to change and you're going to have to be better because this cycle which is self-destructive um and cruel on everybody can't go on and if it does go on well what does the universe have planned for her then so just going to shuffle again i'm not going to take those as i was a little bit too early i want to really think about this and get the best cards what does the universe have planned for her how is it going to deal with this woman who uses and discards people what what will the universe do what does it have planned for her what does it have planned let me take those they all they all went together. Let me get some clippers here. Oh, 
Okay. The universe knows how important it is for her to be the star, for her to be the central figure in everything, for her to be the person that everybody looks at. Um, the universe knows that being the centre of attention with all the spotlights shining down on her is central to her. The universe appreciates that that is what she really wants. The universe sees her in the limelight with just the whole focus on her. It always has been um, throughout her life. She's been the central figure in everybody's life. Everybody tiptoeing around her and giving her what she wants because she stamped her feet loudly. So the universe knows that she wants to be the star and she'll do anything to be the star. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. The universe also knows that money is everything. She she wants the roots and she wants the the um the pentacles to grow and grow and grow. And the universe knows that this is vital to her, to her security. She wants to um, forge wealth and be very secure. And whatever she does now, she's trying to sort of um, squirrel away the money. Can you see this figure here? He is um, grabbing on to this money. She wants to do that. But the universe now is starting to turn. You can't have it all. You can't be the centre of attention. You stamp your feet and you get all the money that you want. You can't do it. And if you do do it for long enough, the universe will turn on you. So the money that she's fought so desperately to hang on to, the jewels that she's um, acquired, shall we say, um, that she shouldn't have done, um, the shoes that she's acquired that she shouldn't have done, and clothes, and goodness knows what, that she is hanging on to. This is in reverse. The universe will wait, will work to make all of this go. She will drop it all, not because... Um, she wants to drop it, but she will be forced to. Now, she will lose. She will lose her money. She will lose all those um, frippery things, really, that, that she has built up, that, that she has got in whatever manner she's got them. All the things that she's acquired from other people in a manipulative way will fall through her hands. The universe will make sure of it because it will not allow people to be stamp my feet and, you know, I'm the centre of attention. I will do whatever I want to get all the money that I want. And if you don't give it to me, I will stamp my feet because I deserve all this because I'm the star and I will get money and I will be wealthy, 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 wealthy and rooted and grounded because I'm me and I got it. And I did it because I stamped my feet. The universe will not have it. So she will lose all this all this abundance that she's building up or that she thinks she's building up. She will lose it. And then here we have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords, um, it's very fast cutting energy. It's very, um, it will get the job done and it will get it done quickly. And it's all thinking with the head. Um, we've got a lovely depiction of the Knight of Swords here. It's, it's a woman here holding the sword above her head and the Knight of Swords will go in and he will sort it out. He will sort it out from his head. He's not like a Knight of Cups or Pentacles. You know, Pentacles are slow and they plod along and Cups are very sort of the ideal Knight, but the Knight that everybody falls in love with. All women fall in love with the Knight of Cups, and the, the traditional Knight. The Knight of Swords, no. He is cutting and quite cruel. Now, when he's up this way, the Knight of um, Swords is totally vicious. When she comes down, she is going to come down with such force that it's going to shock everyone. Um, I actually see this as being the media that will bring her down. The media will bring her down. This could be law as well, lawsuits. She is going to be basically rinsed out uh, in the press, in the courts. She will lose everything that she's come by that um, was not come by in 
um, a good, honest way. It was com she came by it in a way that was deceptive and cruel and take, take, give, give, give me, give me, give me. So yeah, it's all here. It's all here. The universe knows what she is. She it knows what she wants and it will deal with this and it's going to deal with it in the press in the courts, very publicly, very, very cutting, and she will lose whatever she has tried to, very, very hard, tried to build up, it will be gone. So karma is coming her way. I, I hope you, you found that interesting. So we didn't need to know why she is the way she is. Other people are looking at that, but I just wanted to know what the universe has planned for her what karma has planned for her and we shall see we shall see and i wish all of you a really good day and thank you so much for tuning in it means a lot to me thank you bye bye